digital accessibility is crucial in education. Obviously, with the change in times, the internet is a massive part of life. We use internet for pretty much everything. We use the internet to find out things. We use the internet on a daily basis. And it's also important to use technology more than using paper so we can remain sustainable. Our students, if you, if you tell them that they're going to be using a computer, they much prefer it to writing. SEN students, generally, with handwriting, they struggle. Um, a lot of our students, their handwriting is not very legible. Um, I also think it's really important that students have the opportunities to use programs that they maybe wouldn't have the opportunity to use in other environments. A lot of students here would not have as much access to IT at home. They might have a phone, probably not a very good one, but as a general rule, a lot of them, it's like, do you have a computer at home? No, you don't have a computer at home. Um, I also think that using digital technology is a lot more engaging for learners, especially like the young people nowadays, because they're so used to using technology. It's a really good way to get them focused. Putting a worksheet in front of somebody is not a great way to get them to focus, to get them to engage. They're just going to shut down or talking at them and relaying information to them is never going to get them as engaged as it is to go, right, I want you to go on the internet. I want you to find out about this person to do with this thing that we're looking at. And I want you to find out this, 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 and this. But at the minute, my job is to try and get as many, like to try and look at and find and utilize as many sort of innovative programs as we can to get that engagement um, and just get students using technology more. I'm looking at creating a whole um, personal development scheme of learning using an AI software called Teachermatic, which is really, really good, um, really useful. I would recommend it to like any person that is starting out in AI because it does really help you and it's not a lot of AI programs you put stuff in and it spits out something and you're like really what I asked for but thank you you've tried whereas this it's very as long as you put in what you want properly it will give you something that is pretty much immaculate and you only need to edit little bits um, I've used a lot of things with students for engagement such as like Powtoon which is kind of like a website where you make videos but it's like animations we use something called flipgrid which is more like a little you make videos and you can put backgrounds and things on it which we've used for reflection time a few times or like when we're asking them questions instead of getting them to write down the answer choose your background we'll do it on flipgrid we'll record it on here which they they quite enjoy that as well um i've also used for like assessment things like wiser which is a an online tool where you make like they call them them worksheets but they're more like um so the, the activities are sort of like open questions so there's a question they have a box to write their answer in multiple choice questions uh drag and drop to columns so um true false and then question and then you put them in there matching things to other things lots of like really cool and different ways to answer questions which i found students preferred a lot more to me putting again putting a worksheet in front of them and go and do this um, we have started to use the technology that's already built into the computers more so like word reading to you or speaking into words for the students that are dyslexic and struggle with the reading and writing aspect the most important part is knowing your students and knowing what they learn best from like knowing how they work as opposed to just giving them something and expecting them to be able to do it which isn't fair